the Clay County Economic Development Group's Retail or Service Entrepreneur Award for 2017 is sponsored by United Bank and Trust. According to BusinessInsider.com, in 2013, gambling was a $240 billion economic impact and employed 1.7 million people. And that doesn't include incomplete data from illegal gambling. A lot of people think that entrepreneurs are gamblers, but there's a big difference between the two. Gamblers play games of chance, like the lottery, bingo, roulette, craps, and raffles. Very little, if any, skill is required. No matter how hard they work or how knowledgeable they are, it doesn't much matter. The gambler has no control, leaving it up to fate, destiny, and luck. Entrepreneurs who operate this way usually don't last long. Successful entrepreneurs take risks, but they don't leave it up to chance. Instead of fate, luck, and destiny, successful entrepreneurs believe in hard work, perseverance, and dedication. For them, it is more like a game of skill, like chess or football, where the outcome is controlled more by mental or physical ability, knowledge, and work ethic. Successful entrepreneurs are constantly working on their game, learning from their mistakes and the mistakes of others. They study the game and develop strategies. They avoid a gamble, basing their decisions on knowledge and facts instead of impulse and emotions. They don't take easy shortcuts when long-term dedication is needed. They don't squander their hard-earned winnings for immediate gratification, but instead invest them for a bigger, long-term, future gain. They go on the offensive, making things happen instead of just leaving it up to chance. Our retailer service entrepreneur isn't afraid of risk. He knows that if he puts his mind to something and works hard, he can get through it. He knows this because he has done it. He started with nothing and built up several businesses, which gives him the confidence that he can do it again. He started working as a dishwasher before he was legally old enough to do it. He sacked groceries, clerked at a video store, and drove a school bus before he started selling cars in college. Five years later, he was the finance manager, then moved on to the new car manager, the used car manager, and finally the general sales manager. He grew the business from selling 30 cars a month to 140. Then he added more dealerships and grew them too. At one time, he had 185 employees. From the time he worked at the video store, he knew he would one day own his own business. And seeing the majority owners getting the fruits of his labor propelled him to take a risk and strike out on his own. He says, there's risk in everything, but people focus on the risk and they prevent themselves from doing great things because they are afraid of that initial failure. He went on to say, I know what it's like to be on the bottom. If you don't like your situation, you're the only one who can change it. Lots of people make excuses, but you make your own luck. Clay County Economic Development Group's Retailer Service Entrepreneur of the Year is Glavin Ford's Jeremy Glavin.